welcome guys to Lil's Eye. This is the waiting room. This is where patients wait before they see us. This is the amazing front desk staff. Hi, Anisha. This is Hey, Mike. So we're gonna go in and I'll show you around inside. Let's go inside. So, we come here. This is our diagnostic center. These are our amazing well, technicians. Hey Honestly. guys! Hey. Hey. So, so <laughs> these guys really help make our experience really great. They help with every patient encounter. They're checking vision before, pressure, all this, all the information, history. It really makes a big difference every time you see a patient. So what uh, instruments do we have in the diagnostic center? So we have a spec microscopy, we have some slit lamp photos. The slit lamp photos are actually amazing, not just for patient care, but also to kind of keep track of the amazing pathology you see here. We have a uh, pentacam topography. We have an IOL master now. And your segment and OCT. OCT. <laughs> you can do um, cultures. We do it the proper way start a fire, get our cultures ready, send to the lab. All right, I'm gonna show you where the fellows spend a lot of time in their fellows room. So this is a designated room for the cornea fellows, especially um, when the two fellows are at Will's Eye Hospital, they spend their free time here. We have computers, uh, a lot of resources, a lot of textbooks, and we use this space to keep track of, you know, when we write our op notes and look up patients for the next day. Here's the break room. You get some uh, sometimes free lunches, which is very nice as well. And you're right by all the attendings offices. So it's really amazing you have them available as a resource when you have questions or interesting patients. So now let's go to the clinical area. So when we're ready to see patients for the day, you can come right out. This part of the clinic, clinical area is where you tend to spend the most time. It's the six room area. You're seeing patients, uh, private patients with the attendings. <laughs> so one of my favorite spaces here is the supply closet. It's very well stocked because we do a lot of different things here. We have contact lenses, syringes, uh, you know, solutions for procedures, and it's just very nice to really have access to everything in one place. You don't have to worry about having the proper supplies you need. So around here is where we see patients, the residents tend to see patients, they have their clinic. As a fellow, sometimes you can help staff the uh, residents with their cases. We also have a very specialized OCP clinic once a month, which you get to get involved with during your rotation. So who's involved in the OCP clinic? So we have different subspecialists that all work together in one office. Instead of referring out and waiting for a referral back, instead you have an oculoplastics attending, you have a retina specialist who specializes in uveitis, you have cornea, and they're all there together on the same day. And it's really Really collaborative and you see a lot of pathology that people are coming from all over just to be here on that one day so you get to be a part of that okay so this is room 10 this is the procedure room it's a great um, space that we use to do a lot of procedures one thing you tend to do is cross-linking uh, patients or a lot of patients come out here just for this procedure alone we have a microscope that we can use to do procedures after patients are laying down. We do re bubbles here, we do um, diamond burr, a lot of different things all here. It's a great space with um, a lot of resources. Hello, I'm Buck. I'm one of the cornea fellows this year. I'm going to show you a little tour of the OR. Cornea service is here probably three days a week on average. So we're probably here one and a half days a week. Uh, this is where the cornea tissues are. There are eight operating rooms. Let's go see one. All right, so we have our microscope, we have Centurion, we have recording equipment, which is very important. You can record all of your cases, which is really good to, to review what you're doing right and doing wrong. We work very closely with our attendings and our scrub techs. This is Dana. Hey guys! Dana, how do you like working with us? I love you guys. The fellows are great here. They do tons of transplants, and you'd be lucky to come and join their team. That was good. Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have four hospital beds in here uh, in the Wells Eye Hospital. So if somebody comes in over the weekend and they need to go to the operating room, it's very nice where you can you can put them just across from the from the operating rooms. So this happens a lot for ruptured globes, for perforated corneas, for us. 
um, or just ulcers that need to uh, need to be watched pretty closely for possible perforation. And the operating rooms are just over there. Okay, so to examine the inpatients, we can have this good microscope here. We just walk them over from, from their room. Uh, some uh, physicians like to do a yab for their d -banks, so that we can take care before the case is All right, come on in. This is the most important room of the whole hospital. This is where we have our snacks. You have your pretzels, your Fig Newtons, your peanut butter crackers. Uh, in addition, we have some, some lovely sodas in there so you can recharge between cases. Okay. Hi, welcome to the eighth floor. This is where all the educational activities happen. Come follow me, I'll take you to the wet lab. Uh, to our left here, we have the RAN auditorium where chief rounds and uh, all the lectures happen. And right over here is the uh, wet lab, brand new, recently made uh, just this past year. All right, so this is the uh, awesome wet lab. There's a bunch of workstations. Um, all of them are connected to a computer monitor and uh, you can show what you see under your microscope to the big screen right in the front. And it's really great for uh, demonstrations, also working with your uh, co-fellows. What do you guys um, think of the around. Cornea Fellowship here? It's the best. I love it. The best <laughs> fellows ever. The best fellowship in America. Uh, <laughs> two IC machines right here. And uh, let's see what uh, materials we have in the, in the back. Uh, we always have eyes here uh, on tap, ready to be thawed and used by the fellows and residents. Uh, we have all the equipment you could uh, ask for. So you can practice uh, PKs here. Uh, sometimes we also have human tissues. You can. We have artificial anterior chambers that you can do D-max and uh, D-sex on. And uh, also, you know, try to put some IOLs in eyes and different techniques for IOL implants, explantation. Oh, I just got a call from an uh, ER resident. Let's go check out the ED. So the ED is right across the street uh, in the Jefferson building. Welcome to the Wills ED. We'll spend some time here helping out patients on consults and uh, seeing patients overnight who have emergencies. And I have uh, United Healthcare. All right, these are our awesome residents working hard in the ED. Uh, minor procedure room. Sometimes you'll do a lid lock or some procedures here with the residents, uh, teaching them uh, and approaching them through the case. One of the great things about Wills is it's located right in Center City. And there's a bunch of really great restaurants you can go to, uh, sometimes for lunch, uh, sometimes after lunch or after work with your co-fellows. And you can see if you look on Yelp, there's a ton of really highly rated restaurants just nearby. So most of our fellows live in uh, Philadelphia within walking distance or a short drive. Uh, you do get parking access here, which is uh, paid for by the program. Um, most of the fellows do have a car. Uh, one, of, one third of the year is spent at a private practice with um, Dr. Ayers and some of the other cornea attendings. And those do require a short trip outside, maybe 30 minutes from Wills.